El fin de labio que tengo puesto para este video es by Milk Makeup y se llama Nova. One of the things that I find myself doing the absolute most during this pandemic, during this craziness where everything is locked down, is actually finding places to go have coffee that I'm able to kind of like at least try and sit down and enjoy it. I love coffee. I make my own coffee at home. But like when my husband is off in the weekends and there's absolutely almost nothing to do nowadays, we find ourselves looking for places to go have coffee. I'm gonna tell you a secret. And I went away to Mexico during the pandemic. All of a sudden I love Starbucks. Starbucks was my best friend because where we were staying at, I could not find good coffee for the life of me. Because we have this inside joke. When we're in New York City, we don't like Starbucks. We're like so full of ourselves. It's like I would never go to Starbucks. Because there's a lot of indie places and small local places. And I try and support that. And I look for organic coffee as well. <laughs> but then when we go away and we notice that the coffee at, at the premise sucks balls it's like all of a sudden we're looking for any starbucks we can find within the vicinity <laughs> we're like so hypocritical these are outfits upgraded outfits you can wear to go get your coffee i have the more casual relaxed version or if you want to soup it up a little bit more i usually go on the weekends to go get coffee with my husband so this is where the inspiration came from every time Saturday and Sunday rolls around. It's like, what am I gonna wear to go get coffee with my husband? So hopefully this will help you out and inspire you. Let's get into it. First outfit, we're gonna start with the denim jeans. And of course, denim jeans is always a staple. Like for everyday, normal, average life, jeans is just a staple, right? Still slightly warm and comfortable here in New York City. I'm with my husband, so I wanna like jazz it up a little bit more. So I didn't want just a regular jean, but you can of course tweak this and wear a regular jean. And one way that I would wear it more casually, like I would wear it with a hoodie. I love hoodie. I love plain hoodies the most beautiful colors this is a great way to just still be like cool and modern and like sexy and cute still casual for something like this with your combat boots your punk boots which I have been rocking and obsessing over since I got it I will link the video up above here in the cards or down below if you want to see the unboxing now I've taken the same outfit and just elevated it a little bit more by adding some heels doesn't have to be party ass type of heels I mean, again, you're going for coffee. If you want to sport it, I'm not here to tell you what not to sport or what to sport. I'm here to inspire you. I wanted to stay within the realm or theme of the punk vibe here. So I just added some chunky boots, but with heels to dress it up a little bit more. And I am also obsessed with the boyfriend shirts because I find them to be super cute, but super comfortable, but sexy. And this has that look for me. It's very effortless as well. Sometimes I steal my boyfriend's shirt, but he doesn't like it because then I never return it, which is like, if something looks cute, why are you gonna return it, right? I might edit this part out. Mamma um, I mean, first of all, this shirt has such sentimental value to me because it's my dad's shirt and uh, my dad passed away in 2018. Dad loved wearing like buttoned up shirts, flannel shirts. I love wearing shirts like that. So a lot of the ones that I had in my collection were from my dad and so I would always wear them. And so now I make sure that I take extra care of them because the closest that I can get to my dad. I love this. This shirt right here, I will treasure it forever and it's plaid. Plaid is also a timeless and classical type of print. It's like a heritage type of print. I'm in a darker state of mind mentally I guess this year and rightfully so right because it's been crazy. I've been embracing like that dark look like the gothic look like the punk look and I really want to like focus on that and that was the inspiration behind this outfit. I know it's easy to go with black tights, but I have white knit tights in my collection and I wanted to use it and really give it that unique spin on the punk look. And I loved this look. I went out with it with my husband and I got so many compliments that day. I was obsessed. This is the way I would wear it casually. Just had jeans because jeans still lends to the punk vibe 
to the gothic vibe, to the dark moody type of vibe with your combat boots. You can see how I sport any of the outfits in general in my Instagram, so go ahead and follow me there. I love anything that has a leather look, like the patent leather look. I find it to be so sexy and modern and raw and like so chic, timeless, classic. Like those are the type of things or garments or clothing that just looks good with everything. Like if you're so unsure what the hell to wear, I would just throw on some leather pants and a cute sweater and you look so freaking chic and beautiful, right? I love this look. This day wasn't super cold, but I always feel cold. And in New York City, it was super bright and sunny that day, but it was like that crispy type of fall day. It was like 50s and there was like a breeze that was kind of annoying because I was just like, where's the summer? <laughs> and it gave me that downtown chic vibe. I threw it on with one of the biggest trends, which is the cape. You want to keep whatever you wear under a smoother, and seamless so it won't bulk up the effect of the cape. I was so comfortable with this look that day. I feel like this look is already casual, but let's say the pants are like too shiny for you. You can go ahead and sport something like this with jeans, paired it with suede boots to so kind of give it like that slash bohemian western-ish type of vibe. But I wanted to keep the emphasis on the cape. It's a great outfit to go get Starbucks, your coffee, organic coffee, Peruvian coffee, your Guatemala coffee your mexican coffee or espresso cafe au lait frappuccino your americano pumpkin caramel spiced latte oh my god i need more coffee what the fuck are you waiting for it is time for you to subscribe to my channel dale un like y like y si te gusta dale a la campana de notificación porque ya se le informa a usted de mi nuevo video